morning. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, e sports means uh, innovation. And innovation is a very crucial word for us in Bitbet. Because uh, we are not a bookmaker, we are a provider of the latest, most advanced uh, gaming and betting platform. It means uh, that we work for bookmakers. And for them, only for them, we have to think today where the world is heading. So we have to analyze, to define and develop what we are going to recommend tomorrow to our clients and allow them to offer today hand user a very advanced and innovative product. This is our approach. So when, when, when many, many months ago we started to analyze this sport, we understood immediately that we were in front of an innovation. Howard Phil has already talked about sports and, uh, and the millennials, so I don't have to add anything. And uh, so our role, I want to add, sorry, that um, that the uh, global revenue generated in 2015 by the esports was around, according to the, the international analysts, uh, 500 million dollars. And the betting has already taken part to this revenue, generating the 7.5% of it and the positive aspect is that these relevant numbers has been created in a very embryonic phase. So our role, the provider role, is to provide the advanced tool to allow the bookmaker, the traditional bookmaker, to conquer this new slice of market. The first step that we all together have to do is to understand the new scenario. Because there was a, tra a transition from a world in which there was the TV flow in the center and the hand user leave this situation in a very passive way. A transition from this world to another world in which uh, there is a multi-channel flow but this time in the center there is the hand user who leaves this situation like a main actor in a very active way because he um, in a very active way because uh, um, he um, I can say he consume he consume um, and, no, and is guided in this sorry in this uh, in this scenario by two fundamental criteria satisfaction and sharing satisfaction means that he wants and cons he consumes whatever he wants and whenever he wants and uh, is free to choose the most appropriate channels and uh, instrumentals to get this satisfaction but it is not enough for him why because he wants to share his satisfaction with other people. So the sharing is the way to amplify his satisfaction. So in a very short time, what is good for one become good for many. This is a scenario. And the traditional bookmaker, you traditional bookmaker, 
as to understand these, uh, these scenarios. So, our role, our role, the provider role, is to allow you to take part to this scenario, providing you the most advanced tool. We say that you have to be omnichannel because, because you have to, um, to reach your new potential client everywhere at, at, at any time. And at the same time, you, traditional bookmaker, has to provide um, has to provide to your uh, to your um, client hand client the instrumental to consume your product everywhere and whenever he wants. Thanks to Phil, not to me. We have understood who are the millennials. Uh, they speak their own uh, native language. And uh, they, they live they, their passion in a very special way. And they feel themselves very special. And uh, in the described multi-channel scenario, they look for someone who makes him special. And the, um, the traditional bookmaker has to be one of them. Uh, in which way? Uh, in which way he can keep this new potential client? Uh, surely providing the, the actual offer is a mistake because we are saying him I'm selling a bet and a millennium, a young man, what will do? I skip you. Why? Because, because I already said, he's looking for someone who lives and share with him his same passion. So, uh, before selling, we have to communicate with him. The first step that a traditional bookmaker has to do is to create a special section for him. You are special, and no, you are special, I'm going to create a special section for you. Obviously, it's not enough. It's not enough because we have to fill this page. And before offer our market, our betting product, we have to communicate with you. So, in a short way, the first, uh, the first target, the first goal is to create an environment that is friendly, familiar to our, to our millennial, like they are in their gaming clients or connect to a website that uh, deals every day with sports. So, the uh, provider has to allow our traditional bookmaker to apply an innovative design um, that which aligns the element graphics that generates emotion, passion in a sports fan. I'm talking about the widget with logos, team, with tournament and sports logos as well. But uh, I can add images that recall the main uh, characters or relevant uh, actions or lived in an uh, esports game. And then there are other additional elements, the possibility to configure a font to format heavy letters in a modern way, every number in a modern way, or uh, to add uh, the icons that we normally find in the game clients or uh, in the sports uh, website. This is the first step. We, create, we have just created a very good environment, friendly environment, but uh, we can say that we, we have just started to create satisfaction in our new potential client. But 
we have, there is a, a second goal. We have to provide a full and extensive content, full information, because the goal is, our aim is to avoid, to not allow him to migrate to other websites looking for the news that he needs. So, um, the traditional bookmaker says to add uh, news about the, uh, the, the, the upcoming tournament, the upcoming games, the players, and uh, the language has to be the millennial language, very concise, very, very informal, sometimes cheeky, yes, sometimes cheeky. And then we have to add other kind of information, um, the calendar to know the upcoming uh, tournament, I don't know, uh, a statistical center, and then a guide, a guide to bet, because they are new clients. And this guide has to be short, uh, a kick guide, with heralds, with uh, icons, uh, with short messages, because uh, they, they want to read a very long paper with many instructions. And so we have provided the environment, we have provided a full content. Then the traditional bookmaker has to add the, the most modern way to communicate, and I'm speaking about the, the video streaming. A video streaming provided by the operator, for example, uh, with, a, with a young man, a young expert man, uh, who is talking about the upcoming match, uh, talking always in the same informal way, and maybe wearing uh, in a very casual way according to the latest uh, uh, millennial, millennium fashion. But the real, uh, the, the most important streaming is uh, is the, the video streaming of the game and it must be reliable. It must be real because the video streaming is connected to the live betting loads. And close to the, the video streaming, we, the uh, traditional bookmaker can add a, a chat, sharing chat. So the um, the, the millennials, the sports fan, can share their thoughts, their emotions, their comment about thoughts and so on. So, again, um, friendly and familiar environment, full content, uh, full information, video streaming, a good marketing communication. We have created and provided, to ensure, satisfaction to our new potential client. But as I said before, it is not enough for him. He wants to share this satisfaction. So we have to allow to our clients to what? To, to, to share the satisfaction. So they, our, we, uh, our, the, we, the provider, is to allow the traditional bookmakers to add a link to the socials. Google Plus, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and so on. Um, all together, think that I want to share with you uh, my talk. So it, it's true, he wants to share, but at the same time, uh, this uh, user, this new client, is working for us. Why? Because it's true that he's sharing his satisfaction, but at the same time, he's sharing, he's amplifying our, the goodness of our service, our products, or our bets, or our, or our info. So, um, say, say that uh, we, we have created the right communication. It's only now we are ready to sell. Only now, so what does that mean? Only now we are ready to offer our odds, our, our betting markets. And nobody can uh, teach us uh, uh, our betting market has to be. 
And I want only to, to add that I and my team are developing a, a mathematical algorithm to create innovative uh, markets on, uh, on, uh, on esports. And saying that, to highlight that market, that the esports are perfectly tailored for betting because they are various. In the future, we can add other, uh, other esports, but especially inside every esport, there are many situations that generates emotion to the to the sports fan but at the same time are an opportunity to create a bet so emotion bet lives live in the same place